Welcome back to Kalindra's Legacy. We're here inside a Grindel and Bolt factory, uh, hoping for Mercedes to let us in to the Keeper's secret place here. Now, our scripting may be completely broken, which would be unfortunate. Um, but I don't know. Oh, she's already opened this trapdoor here. All right. So I just guess, I guess I just missed the scripted sequence because she ran in before she was supposed to and did a thing with the trapdoor and presumably said a line of dialogue when I wasn't there to answer or something. And now I can proceed. All right, well, broken scripting aside, it seems like we can keep going. What's the objective complete? Uh, all right, so she let me into the Keep a sanctuary. Yep. All right. All good. How you doing? Why are the ladders on both sides here? Whoever you are, you're a fool. Oh, they heard me already. It's like bloody metal ladders. Who are you? Oh, you're there. Hunting for me, huh? You know it's not an easy thing to see a keeper. Well, you're actually very easy to see there. Hear it? Yes, it is me. Now, are you addressing me? Are you supposed to talk to me, or are you going to attack me? I really don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to be here, though. What? I can steal the sword out of your hand? Alrighty then. Does that mean you can't attack me now? You came back for a keeper funeral, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Ow, oh, ow, oh, he can't still attack me. Ouch. Your penance must be so. Alright, I'll, I'll load because I was just doing that for fun. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> what, I meant, what I really wanted to do was this. <gasps> just uh, get him out of the way. A nice dark patch here. Alright. So here we are inside the Dark Watch Keeper Sanctuary. There's some kind of force field, I guess, protecting that door. But that does seem to be the only way to proceed. Maybe it's just a teleporter. Maybe I just need to walk into it. Indeed. All right, we have a lift. Look at where it goes. Very, very slow lift. A long way down. Uh, just like these stairs also go a long way down. Alright. Let's go down the stairs. I hear footsteps. There's more keepers about. Unsurprisingly. No one I can see. Stop your jumping, Garrett. Get into the darkness. Yeah, you almost heard me there, but uh, well, it did hear me, I think. Oh, they're patrolling the stairs. I guess I'm lucky I didn't walk right into them. Is there any dark corners? Oh, okay, they're not going very far. What was that? The doors are sealed. We have. The silver web has fallen. A tiny midget keeper. Alright, with magics. The doors. Very dark here. 
Even when I put out the candles, it's not really dark enough for my liking. Hmm. Let's make a pool of darkness over there. Dark corner, okay. I didn't really know, I didn't know they were. Oh, they're coming this way. Alright, I guess I'm gonna knock them on the head. Don't really have any other options. That's gonna walk right into me. The fallen rise again. Whoa! I'm invisible. was uh, not what I expected. Was that like the uh, little interpreter girl? Might be. Where's this? Okay. They suspect nothing. I guess she was supposed to be the like the little interpreter girl. That is definitely not a foundation settled. That is definitely not right. Ah! Ooh, who the hell are you? Wait, you saw me? I thought I was in darkness. Ah, oh, bollocks. Yes, uh, prepare. Lauren's orders. <clears throat> you must die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if, though? What if you chase me up the stairs and I run through here? Can you follow me through here? Probably. But if you follow me through there, can you follow me up here? Oh, yeah. No. Snicker while you can, pal. Oh wait, this is I'm on the wrong side of the ladder. Uh, hey man, don't mind me, I'm just gonna flashbang you. When I find- oh, I'm out of flash bombs, am I? Am I out of flash bombs? I think I'm out of flash bombs. Alright, no flash bomb for you, I'm just gonna run in circles around you. In classic thief manner. And now I'm gonna escape you. Yeah. Garrett? He's, he's, uh... Are you just, this guy's good. Yeah, I am good. Look at, look at how well I'm hiding. I ran up this ladder right in front of your Whoever nose. You are, you're a fool. And you forgot. Yeah. Silly AIs. That's alright. Alright by me, though. It makes it easier to, uh, escape this, uh, unfortunate predicament. Get off the ladder, Carrot. Take a sword. Right, you can stay there. Alrighty. Um, I encountered a few more keepers than I was expecting to. Oh, there's still more some around. Your penance uh, must be served now. Damn it. Spot it again. Let's try the same That's trick again. So clever. We'll get you eventually. Yeah? How soon is eventually? You move like one of us. But I'll find you. Well, How could he just disappear like that? It's your keeper training. This is a little bit silly, really. You are, you're a fool. I am a fool. And you're gonna give up soon. And then you're going to start walking away. And I'm going to climb down this ladder. And go... Oh! And take your valuable sword. Or little dagger. Alright. Ah. Uh, well, there's only going to know, know I broke in here, aren't they? Uh, master ghost thief, I'm not. Alright. I took your sword, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, well, there's nobody in the library, I guess. Nice star-shaped windows. All right, now I think. Well, oh, I didn't finish getting these candles. That's very important. Extinguish all the candles. Uh, 
Now we get Euro Sword, and for some reason they spotted. Oh, they're actually still here. Yeah, it is the interpreter. They're just almost invisible now. So that's kind of why I got spotted, because although they looked like they weren't invisible to me, they were certainly not invisible to the AI who saw them there. And probably because of the slight light that her magic hands gave off, saw me as well. That's how I got chased. Right, what have we got here? A book. The South Portals remain impassable. Keeper Lauren has high hopes that the scattered parts of the amulet may soon come into his possession, and the doors will reveal whatever dark treasures of gold and law may lie beyond them. I have no doubt a man as great as Lauren will see this success actualized. If he can accomplish it before Keeper Orland's visit, the Dark Watch Sanctuary will become a hive of activity. Already. Yeah, letters to escape people is kinda cheap, but you know, I'm I'm okay with cheap. I'm here to complete the mission in whatever way comes to mind and not to not bothered about any particular set of tactics. Bloody tiles. Well I don't know if there's anyone else around, I can't hear anyone. But this place looks like decent size, there is almost certainly other people around. We've got stairs down, we've got stairs up. Let's go up first. Yeah, there is someone around. They heard the... They heard that, but... And they're going to find me. Oh, I should have kept creeping. Oh well, never mind. Lauren's statue key. Alright, I know exactly where to use that. I don't know what's down there, but that is the key we were looking for earlier on in the pawn shop when we found the, uh, oh, someone else. Wait, is that, is that a keeper or is that a statue? Who saw me? Where is this person? Getting jumpy. Oh, there. Of course. Hmm. I don't think I can creep up on them. I don't think I need to. Also, odd sound propagation. Oh. oh. Oh no. There's two of them there. Oh, you saw me. Oh no. Bollocks. Alright, here we go again. Follow me in here! Help, indeed. Who are you gonna run and find now, huh? There's no one to help you. I mean, there probably is. Well, I'm gonna hide in the library. It's nice and quiet. I'm very, very bright. What's the book say? Book 1, The Grimoire. The sky shall tear his parchment, punctured by the sword of a bird and woman's words. And this shall happen after a year's war that leaves children at the heads of nations. The Grimoire. Uh, right, so this is a play, which I'm not going to read. Well, it's very, very long. I'm very glad I decided not to read it, because that would have taken forever. Uh, and, for some reason, it's got a URL at the end. Which, uh, is... Unusually, I didn't realize the web existed in the Thief universe, but, uh, that, you know, you learn something new every day. Alright, as a scroll, the battle in the old industrial district continues to rage as the Hammers try to reclaim their rusting empire. Thieves have found the district a new haven, unpatrolled by the City Watch. With so many vacant buildings and dark alleys, a labyrinth of crime and blood is just beginning to form. Bolan wants us to increase our vigilance to ensure Dark Watch is not compromised. Seems sensible. What's this say? Demonology by Heinrich Volk, volume uh, IIX 8, I guess. Uh, chapter 1. From A to Z, demons by name and number defy our laws of mortality and morality. Morality is something not discussed in this term, hence let us begin with demon physiology. Demons are immune to, among other things, cold, fire, poison, acid, and the effects of aging. They do not require air to breathe or food to eat. In fine, they can exist virtually anywhere, trapped or roaming free in environments quite inhospitable to humankind. Hmm. More about demons. Again, lots of stuff. I don't think I'll read it. 
but uh, they may fall to a heavy onslaught of weaponry. The melee combatant would be better off running than sparring. Yeah, all right. There's stuff about demons and the mandolin. And we picked up another note, which I failed to see what it was before I picked up the, the uh, loot there. What is this note? Uh, this one. Work order 223. According to schedule, the profits from the pawn shop have been placed in the secret attic. Keeper Cavillia's robe caught the railings at the high balcony and she nearly fell to the bridge that leads to the interpreter's tower. Thankfully, we managed to prevent a terrible accident and carried her back to the Great Hall to be healed before the fire. We may need to install taller railings in the balcony. Uh, there you go, so the secret attic is uh, above the high balcony, which is not down here in the library. Anything on this table? Alrighty, I think I'm... Oh, I can't take this accident. Alright, I think I'm done with the attic. Oh look, map of the world. Uh, I think I'm done with the library, rather. This isn't, this isn't a cool. Damn, floors. Oh, I see a light switch. Yeah, turn the lights off in the library, okay. And around here, that's actually nice. Now, where was that fellow who came after us before? Was he down this way? No. Uh, actually, no, maybe he was, because I went upstairs. Yeah. Noisy floors. Yeah, he's down this way. I can hear him now. All right. Let us. Ah, uh, he's on me again. God damn it! Oh yeah, stick it while you can, pal. Yeah, come get me. Where is everybody? Help! It's a really good question. Where is everyone? You came back for a keeper funeral, didn't you? Nope. Oh, I don't want to kill you. Where's my gas mine? Gas mine? No, I have a gas mine. Oh, bollocks. It's bad. It means I'm going to set it up, aren't I? Your penance must be served now. All right. Got him. Take your loot. Alright, you can stay there. Yeah, that is some amazing voice acting. Uh, Skaki's just commenting on the chat. Hell, where is everybody? Alright, I don't know who you are. Do you have any uh, loot? Nope. I'm gonna sleep on the sofa. There's loot here. Cheese! Bread and cheese. Why does it always target the tray? I'll eat that though. Alrighty. Big, suspicious-looking fireplace. It's an enormous fireplace. Oh, Alright, there's actually stairs behind it. Book. Dictation on the mechanist infiltration of subordinate subclasses and the deconstruction of Yari's fundamental metaphysic corollary subjunctives. Well, that's fascinating reading. But uh, Garrett doesn't have time for it, unfortunately. Oh, look at that. There's another light switch. Alright. Uh, what's around this side of the fireplace? Just way around. Being noisy again, but hopefully it's fine. This should, I guess, lead up to the interpreter's tower. There's a balcony, secret attic. I don't know. There's a lift. Yeah. Let's go up. So this, this is the pawn shop. I see, so that's why the key was there. This is the other way. There's a 
are walking around outside. I thought we got rid of all those people. So, there's a question for me. Where's that, where's that papyrus I was looking at? They were brought up. Uh, profits from the pawn shop have been placed in the secret attic. Now, is that above the high balcony? I don't know. Or is the secret attic inside the pawn shop? It's another important question. What happens if we get the uh, basketball through the hole? Nothing, but uh, I think we win. Oh, that's right, I did get up into the roof here, right? There's, there's a ladder that leads up to the rafters. Yeah, so there's no there's no secret attic here, right? There's no, no room for a secret attic. This is not secret. So if there's a secret attic, we're talking about the keeper place. I'm lost, it's too dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, this looks like loot and isn't. And that uh, kind of annoys me. But never mind. Down we go again. Can I find the buttons? Where are the buttons? Are the buttons up here? Where's my flares? Can't see a thing. Flares, flares, flares. There we are. Only one. Oh, there are the buttons. Right. Down we go. Okay. So they're not talking about this railing for the high balcony, they're talking about somewhere else in this place, I guess. I guess that must be their main entrance in and out because uh, it looks pretty impressive here. So, where to now? Uh, so, I guess I couldn't have found that key out there and found my way in here before Mercedes let me in. Why Mercedes still had a key to this place? I don't know. She probably shouldn't have. How have I been everywhere down here? We've got the library over this way. Tons of noise again, of course. Over here we have just a gargoyle with a lamp. And that's where I came in, I think. So there's another set of stairs that led down. Oh no, this is where I came in. Um. circle of uh, candles. Looks important. Let me see this door. Can't douse these ones. I have a locked gate. Do I have a key? That opens it. I never did find what the warehouseman's key opened. Oh, the South Grotto gate key. Right, so the South Grotto Gate, this is going to be where I use the amulet, isn't it? On those doors that have been locked for a thousand years. Uh, that sounds important, so before I do that, I'm going to explore the rest of this Keeper Sanctuary. Is there anything down there? Because there wasn't another stairwell, which I don't remember where anymore, but there was another stairwell down to what seemed to be more rooms. This way. No. Oh, where does this go? Well, I haven't been here. You have know, keeper dining room and big rafters. Is that word? Let's find out. Nope. Guess I'm not climbing up there. Well, that's what though. I guess I am climbing up there. Oh, bollocks. Where did you come from? I'm not being the sneakiest, am I? Uh, Alright, back to... 
Same ladder tactic. I didn't even hear them before until they started running at me. They are pretty silent, to be honest. Oh, they've lost me now? No, they're just standing there. They're, they're not very visible, are they? Oh, now they're hunting. They are half invisible. No wonder I didn't see them. And they're dead silent. They're a very good keeper. Um, they're about as good at me as me at being hidden, I think, except for their sword catching a light there. Oh, they haven't given up yet. They're still hunting. Well, the difficulty is... It's very hard for me to see where they are. To see where I need to knock them out from. Bye bye. Oh, this is this is tedious, isn't it? Maybe I should use another gas arrow. Well, in fact, what am I doing? In fact, all right, they've given up now. They've lost sight of me. Well, not given up, but uh, are they searching or are they waiting for me? They're searching. Alright, let's, let's try it. Uh, he tells me this person was actually right in front of me and not invisible at all. Uh, which is... Ah, there they come again. Where's my gas arrow? Let's just deal with this problem. Problem solved. They are quite invisible now. In the dark, I can barely see them. <clears throat> when they highlight. Alright. Dear, oh dear, these keepers, they are such a nuisance. No wonder Garrett left them. They're just, like, getting in his way, getting underfoot all the time. I bet, I bet what actually happened when Garrett left the keepers was that he just, like, wanted to steal everything they had. And. Um, they didn't like that. And that's the real backstory. I hear another. Alright, be a little more careful now, Garrett. Can't see anybody in here. I can hear somebody nearby. Let's go back to my plan A. Nobody will suspect them climbing up on the rafters, will they? Leave the rope. Maybe useful to escape other pursuits if I get pursued. Is there anything up here? No, I guess it's just a way to get around. All right. Hmm. Just it back down we go, but that might be awkward. Let's let's try to do this without hurting ourselves. Alrighty. Someone downstairs by the pool. There was no one there before. Now they're walking around on carpet. Odd. Can't see anyone. Definitely hear them. Alright. We've got in the kitchen. Anyone invisible hiding in the kitchen? No, it seems clear. Mm, 
nom 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 Where's our food? Where's all the food? Come on, find the food guy. You might get some more hit points back. Yay, some hit points. All that, all that unfortunate damage we took uh, is paying off. Uh, it was being recovered by eating fruit and veg. All right, I think we're reasonably healthy again. Is there a secret in the fireplace? No knows. No, just a chimney and snow blowing up above. Alrighty. Some fish. Sink with a water arrow in it. Nice. Not so much for the kitchen. So now I'm wondering about that uh, person I could hear down here. Hear them now. Oh, here's another set of stairs up. A ladder to read the to get the books on the very high bookshelf. Why are there stairs down? That's what I was looking for. I don't know. Maybe this is the balcony they were talking about with the. Uh, Secret attic. I mean, this might be where the interpreter stands to do their interpretation. All right, we're overlooking the library entrancey place. It's a balcony. They said I was overlooking a bridge. I don't really. They almost fell down to a bridge. Oh, what have we got there? Uh, more talismans. Odd place to keep them. What even are we doing here? We need to find out what information they have about me. Okay. I mean, obviously we need to take all the loot that we can find. That's, that goes without saying. Have we just hidden any secret books on Garrett up here, have they? No? This is not the GE section then. Okay, I can hear someone talking. Alright, we're coming back down towards the tile floor here. Where does this go? This looks new. Is that someone there? Just hammers quit banging around up there. You can use their heads as anvils. <laughs> use your head as an anvil. I'll take that. I'll move you out of the way. Oh, here's a candle. Oh, the can does it. Any interesting books? Nope. There's a candle that is at a funny angle there. Looks suspicious to me. Like it's for a secret passage that... Maybe it's already open, I don't know. What's that I see in there? Just that? Just a patch of light? No, it's a bell. Alright. Where does this lead? I do admire the way they put bookshelves in every uh, spare foot of space that they have. Really quite good. I guess not will keep us for nothing. They have to keep some knowledge. Another invisibility potion. Okay. I mean two. I mean I guess maybe you should think about using them sometime, but I always forget that I've got them. There's factory equipment. What is this open with? Skeleton key, alright. I uh, thought there was someone across the yard, but it's just a training dummy. This is their compound. The courtyard. There's another doorway on the right there. I don't think it opens. Nope. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. I wonder, is that the interpreter's tower? They said something about a bridge leading to it. Of course, Garrett needs to check his. Is his aim still good? Eh, not quite sensitive. Oh, you even missed the bullseye, bullseye entirely. Garrett, you were useless. And, uh... For old time's sake... 
Now we've got ice here. Can I break the ice? Not like that. Nope, not like that either. Apparently not. Oh, there is a water arrow there anyway that I can just about reach, I think. There we are. What do we got here? Oh, there's a balcony. And a ladder. How do we get up there? That's not wood. Climb up there. How do we get up there? Well, a rope arrow in the snow, I think, should be a thing, right? So there's a back way into the dining room. Good to know. Well, let's save in case I don't make this jump. Actually, I should take my rope as well. No problem, but you know, sometimes my jumping skills are not exactly what they should be. Oh, what's this note say? Strange place to leave a note. Baron de Zebrus's passing leaves us all grieved. As executor of the will, I am doubly saddened to inform his loved ones that there will be no inheritance. Although the master's mind was sound until the end, his will and testament dictates that all his possessions and the grand estate of Gilrevich Hall upon the High Moors are to be held in title back and front on this single sheet of paper. The master's will is that we cast this sheet to the wind as a pun upon his death. Therefore be it known that I, Arthur Glum, have cast this paper into the tempest this winter night and ensorcelled it with flight. May the winds carry it afar, and may the finder know that according to the will of the Baron, he who finds this note is now the owner of a vast and reaching fortune, estate, and buildings proper upon the high moors below Mount Rubidan. May he come quickly to see what the winds of fate have bestowed. Arthur Glom, Esquire. Well, what do you know? Uh, Garrett now has a nice country manor to retire to. That was an unexpected piece of good fortune. Uh, there seems to be nothing else up this way. So somebody put this ladder here, especially to give access to the will. Which is quite odd. Alright. Get off. Get off the ladder. Alright, back down we go. <coughs> Ouch. Uh, Alright, it's just a window. Alright, so this courtyard seems a bit of a dead end. Let's go back. Um, this way. I still need to find those stairs down that I missed before. They're probably just connected to somewhere I've already been by now, but I do... I would like to know where they actually go. Oh, that's right, this is the way we just got here. Oops. And is this the same noisy floor as around the fountain? Oh, here are the stairs down. Good. Found them again. Let's just go quietly over the tiles, because there's probably, yeah, there's definitely someone down there. Alrighty. Maybe down here is the information that Garrett seeks. Bloody noisy too. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Sometimes I wonder if one of these things is really nice for us. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe it's just that wine from her bill. Like the tricks on my eyes. Hmm. Well, they didn't hear it. I didn't notice anything. Where are they going there? Oh, he didn't even have a sword. Oh, they're not coming this way. Let's creep round. 
Yeah. Yeah, they'd be able to see me, wouldn't they? That's not gonna get me anywhere. Good. Could jump up and down and get them to come this way. Oh, maybe they'll just come this way for me. Hey, problem solved. All right. Do you have anything on you? No. All right. Let's explore this library. Is this? Are they leaving notes about me? The battle in the old industrial district continues to rage, and I've read this one already. Making copies of it. All right. What about this note? Uh. Baron de Zebras' estate is in question. As of tonight, a moody recluse, de Zebras may be the wealthiest man in the city, indeed on the continent. Liquors and spirits apparently took their toll on the barrister of Wilthingshire found him only this afternoon, cold in the draught of an open window. We must speculate on his what his death might mean for the textile factory in this district, whether we should consider relocating temporarily, and whether Gil Revage Hall might take an active role in the prophecies Keeper Orland has so long speculated over. Well, I mean, as a proud new owner of Gilravage Hall, um, I guess now it must be part of the prophecy, since you have other prophecies about me. Garrett, that is. Whoa! They have some very long ladders leading to very high books. Um... I'm surprised this ladder doesn't break, even despite being metals. And it's very long. But... No secret books about Garen up here, are there? Wow, oh, well there is the bridge leading to the Interpreter's Tower. Wait, so maybe this leads to the secret attic. Oh, well, they fell from a balcony. Where's the balcony? I don't know. Alright, well, I might have to come back up here. Slowly back down. I want that to go off the sides. Because then you would die. Alright. Anything more to read? And <laughs> it's just crumpled paper. It's not even a note. Um, oh yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Wow, he's, he collects a lot of... Uh, Notes that Garrett can't read. It's unfortunate for Garrett. Another uh, long uh, ladder. Oh, don't overlook the loot. Already, so. We've got a short ladder here I can climb. Let's climb the short one first. It's quicker than the long one. Um, yeah, Skeki's just commenting on the uh, resemblance of uh, this mission on the way it's been built to resemble the Keeper's places in the cutscenes of the game. And it is. And it looks really good. I love these uh, hanging blue lamps here as well. Eh? Very nice touch. What's up this ladder? More books. Just more books. Garrett, it's a good thing you're not really the kind to enjoy reading because you would not really take a very long time to read all of those. Besides, they're just boring old prophecies, no doubt. That's you know, what the keepers are always into. Alright, so we have. Clearly, the bridge here that leading to the interpreter's tower, uh, where somebody fell from a balcony and something, something, something. Oh, I've lost some health again. Let's let's try and eat the food. I was looking for a papyrus, but uh, I'll eat food on the way. So I'm certainly prayer. I don't think I need that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I do. Who knows? Let's not drop anything prematurely. Here we are. Uh, caught the railings of the high balcony and she nearly fell to the bridge that leads to the interpreter's tower. Uh, you know, to me that lead reads like a hint that there's a way for me to get up there. Running into invisible ladders. Um, I mean, I could try the whole jump from this ladder to the bridge. It's a bit silly and a bit risky. I've got plenty of health, right? I'm sure 
sure there's another way that I haven't found because I'm blind. But I can make that jump, right? Ah! Right? Hmm, perhaps not. Or perhaps, with a speed potion I can. I actually have two speed potions, I don't know where I got them. Um, I don't think a speed potion actually helps me with the speed of my jump, just with the speed of running, right? Yeah, and speed of dying! Alright, that's definitely not the way to get up there. Unless I'm missing something obvious. Alright, so... I guess that way to this tower. Is there an entrance in this tower? Probably not, because otherwise, why would you have a bridge that only the interpreter can access? The other question is, that's uh, to the east, so where is the other side of that bridge? Or is it just there for show? I don't know, but... Uh, um, who's up this way? This way, I think. What's here? Nothing. Well, I thought I'm, I feel like I've been all over this uh, keeper's place, and uh, yet somehow I'm still missing something important because I can't find any information about Garrett that I need to find. Well, there's a balcony. Oh, there's loot up there. Is this a wooden ceiling? No. How do I go up there? Can I climb on the statues? Nope, they're not solid. They're very much not solid at all. Right, they've got hologram statues. Uh, can I get to that balcony, actually? Maybe so. Uh, up these stairs, sure. Alright, so if we go to the back balcony, maybe I can climb around and uh, get the loot. Maybe not. Maybe I have to jump. Already. Nice painting in here of Keeper Dude, I assume. <coughs> Ouch. Alright, what am I missing? Where is this place I haven't found? Um, I'm gonna run around a bit more to look to see if there's anything I haven't seen yet. That's just the wall. Sometimes I think I see things in the dark, but... Uh... Oh wait, what? Oh, here we are. At the bridge. Uh, and that must be the balcony, right? In question. Is this a wooden ceiling? Nope. Hmm, how do we get up there? I haven't found the path up there yet. Let's get the climb up here. Aha! South Grotto Gate Key. Uh, I already used the skeleton key on that. So I don't need that. Alright. Poor interpreter has to sit up in this tower with no way in or out. Except clambering up the balcony railings here. Alright. Now, I can't see well enough to see if there's maybe any wood there. It's really hard. It doesn't look like it. Um, it does look all like stone and metal and stuff. So, how do I get up there? So obviously there's all these books here. Arrows don't stick into books, right? Do they? Well, they do. So I could put a rope arrow up here. Does that work? Yes, it did. Now the question is, how do I get there? Alright, back to the library. I can't get there from up here. Unless... Oh, I could put repairs all the way across. Uh, it's worth a try. Um, why not? Let's try it. Let's 
by jumping from one to the next in uh, acrobatic fashion. This will probably go really badly. Oh. What did I say? Hmm. Maybe a bad idea. Surely this, yeah, there's a really long ladder there. I will try to use that as my basis for uh, getting across there. I think that's a little saner. If I can find my way back to the library, of course. It's not guaranteed. It was down those extra stairs, right? Which were, ah, uh, here. All right. Okay, so there's a secret attic. We have a rope arrow a long way up there. God, I'm gonna need another one on it, and I won't be able to fire it from off from the ladder, will I? Hmm. This is gonna be as hazardous as that previous ladder platforming, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And it's actually going to be, I think it's closer from the other side, so... Well, I guess we'll run all the way back there and try and do it without falling to our death or serious injury. I know I probably shouldn't have quick-loaded the last time I fell, but, you know. It was, uh... Easier that way. Right, somewhere up here... Is it round through here? No. Around this way. No, it's definitely not around this way. It must, it must have been through here. I'm lost again. Okay, yeah. This way. One here. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, very tricky. Very tricky indeed. Because, uh... I don't know, we seem to have got... Suddenly, much higher up than we could possibly have been. See, just by running through that corridor, we are now miles above the library, which wasn't that far down. Nice, they've done a little non Euclidean portal linkage there. Didn't know that they could do that, actually. Maybe it's just a teleporter into an identical spot or something that's a simple version of the same. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> Yep. God damn it, this is gonna be tedious. Maybe there's a better way. I don't know. I know this is a way that it should work. But, uh... Oh, there's a ledge. Uh, hello, Rivera. I don't need you if there's a ledge I can walk on. Yeah, alright. I'd seen the ledge earlier. That might have worked better. Alright. So from here, I should be able to make it to that one. Nope! Yeah, well this time I'll take, just take the ledge to begin with. And... There we are. Alrighty. Alright, that was less difficult than I thought. Uh, where's this balcony? Oh wait, the balcony's all the way over there. Oh no. Ah, well that's not good. I think that's a wasted rope arrow there. Alright, let's go back. No, not that way! <laughs> you could have made the ledge a foot wider, couldn't you? Oh, well this is not good, because... I can stick a rope arrow here. I certainly can't stick it any higher. And that's not high enough to get me to the ledge. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm still missing something. I'm still missing something. Um. Whoops. Ah! Oops. All right. So what am I missing? Uh, maybe I should ask Skaki for a clue here. Cause oh, is there another ledge there? Is that a ledge? Maybe, maybe I can put a rope arrow over here. On this side, there's a ledge here. Let's try. Th let's try this side. Okay. Let's 
boxes. Uh, that didn't go anywhere. No, that's not actually repairable. Oh, great. So I'm just wasting repairs there. Um, but maybe, alright, maybe if that is actually a ledge, I can jump to it from this rope. Maybe. It's hard to see if there's a ledge, and if there is, if it goes all the way. Uh, that's not a ledge. Is it? Doesn't look like a ledge. Need one way to tilt the shore. It's not. Oh. Ouch. Ah. Ouch. Alright. What am I missing? What am I missing? How do I get up there? It's a very nicely constructed keeper library, but uh, surely keepers also need doors? Hmm. Well, on the other hand, see on the one hand I think up there might be the information about me, but maybe not. Maybe that's in the place beyond the grotto. I don't really know what the grotto is all about. Why would you put a balcony there to taunt players unless it was possible to reach? Unless it was possible to reach. But for it to be reached, there would have to be some wood to attach a rope to, right? Or some other secret path there. And I'm not really seeing either. However, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here and I'm gonna find out what I'm missing. And maybe I'm not missing anything. And maybe I just need to go to the grotto. And I'll see you here shortly.